Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts in BergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make uh, cast resin seashell knife handles. Now this particular project starts with a total boat thick set uh, casting epoxy or casting resin. It's a two part epoxy. You mix uh, three parts of the resin and one part of the hardener. Your total boat also gave me some of these re really cool mixing cups and they, they have the indicators right on the inside so you, you know you just fill it up to the mark uh, with with the resin and then add one more mark for the three to one ratio and and you've got it mixed the trick with this resin is you really have to um, stir it for at least five minutes and slowly slowly stir it you don't want to add a tremendous amount of bubbles uh, into the resin this resin is a very thin resin which is really cool because it allows plenty of time for whatever bubbles are in um, the liquid to rise to the surface uh, before the resin hardens uh, and that basically means that you don't have to use a pressure pot now I found these uh, cut seashells on Etsy.com and I got a few of them um, I got this particular size. I also got some slightly larger ones and some slightly smaller ones. And you can play around with the design. I filled up each of these uh, knife handle molds. Uh, the molds I got from a company called Woodcraft. I filled them up to the brim and then I just used the, you know, the back end of a plastic utensil to organize exactly where I wanted the shells. I kind of put them towards the middle because the knife handle uh, that I'm going to make is is not all that wide and I want to get as much of the shell into the knife handle as possible. Now as I made the first set I received a package of these turquoise stones for another project that I was working on and I thought it would be cool to add uh, some of that blue turquoise uh, into the seashell knife scales or knife handles. So I just basically repeated the process. Now any of the bubbles that float to the surface you can use a little butane lighter or torch uh, that'll pop them instantly. You don't really want to heat up the resin, you just want to pop those bubbles. If you see any bubbles that are latched onto a shell or latched onto a rock, you can use a little pin and just break it free and then it'll, it'll float up to the surface. I let these dry for about three or four days uh, before I took them out of, the, out of the molds. And to say the least, I was very pleased. Um, these are going to be used on a sea turtle themed chef knife that I'm working on. So this is my two choices. I have the plain ones and I have the uh, slightly larger uh, cut shells with the turquoise. I, I, at this point, I think I'm going to end up using the, the one with the turquoise. Very simple project of casting seashells into uh, resin. You end up with some very unique knife handles. These I just glued some um, yellow liners onto. And if you stay tuned, probably two videos from now, I'll have the sea turtle themed knife um, hopefully mounted with these scales. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would absolutely love to hear comments in the comments section. I'd also like to invite you to our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. You can learn a lot. You can also post pictures of your own creations. And by all means, check out the book that Jason Northgott and I put out a couple of years ago called Introduction to Knife Making. Thank you very much.